Uh, I've been posting these videos working on this new musical Jack and Jumper and I got distracted for a while because we had a big live show last night that took required a lot of effort um, I have received a bunch of tracks from uh, some singers that I hired a while ago on another musical that I had been working on and I think I need to go back and hurry and wrap that one up before I proceed with Jack and Jumper. So I thought that I would bring you in and show you kind of where I'm at in that process. Um, this is one method I use to clean up these vocals. I have Adobe Audition here and what I did is I pulled the vocals straight up out of my Logic, my Logic software which is where I work and I'm going in and I'm just I went in and I uh, matched loudness on all these to sort of level out the loudness. Now I'm just kind of cleaning things up. So I have a couple of presets here. So I'm grabbing this kind of garbage that happens before this gentleman begins to sing. And I have some presets here. I've learned that you don't really have to put a... a f I quit. I've had... I'm going to take that breath out. You don't really have to put a... a fade in but you do have to put fade out I quit I've had enough so cut this out fade this out so what I'm doing is I'm just ultra cleaning this up this is a destructive process so if you're gonna do something like this you gotta make sure that you save the originals somewhere the original master recordings in case you screw something up which I have absolutely been known to do. So putting dissolves in, little dissolves, cutting this stuff out. It's just a matter of getting these vocals ultra clean. Um, I quit. And as loud as possible. I've had enough. As loud as possible, without distorting them. And that's where the match loudness comes in on in uh, um, Adobe. Audition, sorry, I have a hard time working and talking at the same time. So this is a fun musical. It's about a it's about Tesla and uh, some witches come to town and they're priestesses of Cthulhu. I quit. I've had enough. And um, they according to one of the rituals, because what they want to do is for some reason destroy the world. Or not really destroy the world, but give the world to Cthulhu and hopefully they can, you know, gain some kind of reward after that whole process is done. But part of their ceremony is to uh, sacrifice a clever man. And so their clever man is Nikola Tesla. And so they hit him and they, they kidnap him in... Colorado Springs, which is where he factually set up a lab where he tested a whole bunch of technology. He was trying to make wireless power at the time. They take him to the woods and they go to sacrifice him and I quit. I've had enough. His right hand man, whose name is Lowenstein, and he's a real guy and a couple of other people a woman named Alice and <clears throat> another guy named Hercule go out and attempt to rescue Nikola Tesla from the priestesses of Cthulhu and that's the story whole musical takes place within I quit I've had enough the whole musical takes place within uh, about, oh, maybe six hours or something. Super short time span. And what I'm editing right now is the part of Lowenstein. And the musical opens up with him in this tavern complaining about how tyrannical Tesla is. And how he is going to quit. I quit. I've had enough working for the man. So he comes in, he's ranting, saying, I quit. 
you know, the man's tyrannical, he's this terrible individual, and um, his friend at the tavern convinces him that Tesla work, Tesla's work is important to the world, oops, and that he can't quit because Tesla needs his help. So that's what this song is. And some of it is spoken, as you're hearing, and some of it is sung, and it's all very, you know, orchestral in nature. By the way, the orchestra that I use when I'm scoring, at least when I'm putting music together and trying to make it sound somewhat realistic, as far as the orchestration, is East-West. East-West Platinum Strings. And they are awesome. They have a subscription-based uh, method of using their software, or you can buy it outright. Well, maybe you can't buy it outright anymore. I don't know. But I got on the subscription last year on a deal that they offered during Christmas. It cost me, it was kind of pricey, actually. 300 bucks for the year, but it gives you access to many, many very convincing orchestral. He's the orchestral instruments. One thing I've learned though with fake orchest orchestra, you know, I, and maybe it's because I'm not a string player, I don't play the violin or the viola or the cello, um, they can do a pretty good job of nailing those strings. They, they have all these articulations so that you can, you know, utilize the medium. But what is difficult to do is emulate horns. So all the horns that appear in this musical, well, not all of them. The featured horns that appear in this musical are all analog horns. So I recorded them or I recorded all the horns. He's an epic continental pool of monumental overrule. This guy Jamal who I hired he's great. He's an excellent singer. And I think I'm going to use him again if he'll allow me to. So you can see it's a very tedious process. I asked the singers to send me um, tracks that are rule. that do not have any effects. So they're just raw tracks, and that's all I get, raw stems from them. And uh, <clears throat> then that allows me the flexibility to mix those stems the way that I want. I'm working with a lot of vocalists here on this project, so I need to have them sound great, and they do. But how Jamal sent me his stems is usually what I get. Usually I get is one or two tracks of the entire song. And that's what I'm accustomed to, but Jamal sent me, he sent me... <laughs> Kind of a sentence by sentence breakdown of his recording so I'm having to process all this one line at a time so that tells me that when he tracked this recording he probably just did it one line at a time which is fine because the end result from him is magnificent so I'm really pleased and I told him so. Oops. There we go. All right, man. I am going to have to wrap this up because I have to move on to some other stuff for the day. But um, if you join me, I'm very glad. I'll catch you on the next one. You have a great day.